Okay, this is game seven, the, first, the third skirmish game. It had a special, uh, every prize has its price, and this is how you're supposed to set it up. Special rules was basically Rise Garcia places first. Uh, I, oops, I forgot to do this uh, thing right here. But uh, it was also supposed to be a free-for-all. It says you win when you're the only player with units on the game board. Um, bad part is Rise Garcia is the uh, only person who's still on the board. Uh, so he won again, which means... Rez and um, Angus Smith, who was the first one knocked out this time, and the next one knocked out was Kyle Weller, then Jet Set Clear, then Cassandra Evans, then Zena Jones. Um, he gets to write his name on the board again for like the third time because Angus Smith and Roz Godzilla have both won three games each now. Four, one's roaring the game four times, I think. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's been Roz, Angus, Angus, Roz, Roz, Angus, Roz. <laughs> so, so Roz gets to write his name. Again, somebody else needs to start winning. <laughs> Besides them two. Anyway, the flavor text says it says the disruption comes to an end and factions are reeling into the backdrop. Roz Garcia takes steps to up the stakes and throws open a strategic stockpile of crutonium energy using. His cache of his priceless energy source, he can argument his weapon, enhance his vehicles, and overwhelm the communications network and relay models of every other faction. It doesn't get say what happens if he wins, but uh, the other warlords mess act swiftly as Roz races toward his tar largest cache. His mud load is the army's approach to the destination. Strange readings that have thrown off that could spell danger to any coming females. Of it. These readings show that Roz's mud load is actually the highest concentration plutonium that has ever been collected. It, is that an effect concentration truly never been seen before? Or is it a trap that only Roz knows how to survive? It does not matter. The utterly defeated by Roz and the assassin is not known for his clemency. Therefore, all lead their best units into Roz's lair to beat him at the prize. Then it says, of course, you end of skirmish game, you, everybody gets that stuff. But it says, read this in open envelope. After Roz Garcia's daring attempt to end the shadow conflict, the warlords come to the end of the conclusion that ultimate victory will be claimed by the faction will has shown no mercy to their adversaries. Almost immediately, a desperate arms race accelerates across the globe. As each faction constructs even more powerful weapons of war and expands their vast networks of hardened defenses to secure their territory and prepare for the impending onslaught. Little time is spent reflecting on the missed opportunities of previous encounters as each warlord seeks to discover every competitive advantage, dominate dominion over the entire world. So... Now I get to open pack D. Check it out. So let's see, what do we have in here? We have some new Risk Shadow Forces things. We have Warlord bases at the end of your turn. You occupy this territory, you move your Warlord to this territory and one to this continent bonus. And energy refinery. If you occupy this territory at the end of your turn, gain two energy. And we have some new scars where you can put these energy refineries and warlord bases on. So that's cool. And we have some new warlord upgrade cards, which I have yet to put all the warlord upgrades on all the warlord cards. I was hoping they would bring out some more warlord cards. So these go on the board, these go with the other Scar cards, and these go with the other Shadow Forces Warlord cards. 
and that's about it. So, um, so you don't put another continent on the map yet. So that's still on there. Oh well. Anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Oh, and we get to increase. The winner gets to increase his influence or his uh, energy or whatever it is. So he gets to put this over that for winning. Then everybody gets to increase something on that one. So he's going to increase his defense here. There, I'm going to use these. And I'm going to give Xena Jones plus three. She's going to do it on her squad's defense. I learned in this game that defense is very important. Tech is also very important. She's going to do her personal distance. Jet Sinclair here is going to do he's going to do his personal melee. Kai Williamson, she's going to do her personal and then this one's going to do I'm going to make the dice list. I'm going to do these. That's how I'm rolling. And anyway, this is still here. And these stickers are still here. And of course, there's two Sturmish games left because there's E and F to open. For Risk Shadow Forces. Same two people keep winning all the games. We're going to have to fix that. <laughs> anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus ruler everything. And have a great wonderful day. Later.